of good day good day everyone welcome back to my my page and to my channel i hope you all had a very wonderful day and a nice day too all right today i'm gonna be talking about my stay at least my first year or the first things i got to do when i got to brazil so when i got to brazil first of all i found that it was in an english-speaking country because I didn't have a prior knowledge of that. I didn't browse. I did, the truth is that I didn't browse. I didn't make any efforts to find out about where I was going to understand. So when I got here, the first thing first was I had to go to the government and get what we call a duro. It's more like a refugee to give me the privilege to stay here. Before now, I'll start walking towards getting my getting my destiny um, documents so when i got here when after, when i after i finished with that i i needed to get acquainted with people so the, what i i did was i got my husband to get in a church a nigerian church around here so found one and then we we started worshiping with them. A few months, we declared that we wanted to do our wedding here in Brazil instead of going back to Nigeria and doing the wedding. I understand? I told my husband, let's just do it here and all those things. So, and good enough, we did it. And it was a, uh, it was a Sussex. We did our wedding in, I be on September, 7th September. 2020, yeah, no, 2029, because I came into Brazil May, happy, yeah, approximately, you know, 1st of June, yeah, so we did our wedding on September, 7th of September, 2020, so after that, I started staying at home my only going out is if my husband is going to get things even because of the fact that i could not understand a single word that these people were saying i could i don't know what is portuguese in my entire life i don't i could not understand one thing i don't it made me i lost interest i don't go out even when my husband will say let's go out i'll, I'll just tell him please be going my body was always itching me and scratching me and all those things. I just, I would just be telling him, please go. You understand? And that was it though. So anything you want to buy, cooking or food, whatever it is, he's the one that will go, buy it, come back. And then I'll do the cooking. Or sometimes he will do the cooking because he can cook actually. So after that, Prior to some moons, I found out I was pregnant. So, so I was not there navigating the pregnancy. Only me, no other person. I don't even know a single Nigerian. I, and the people in my church, I hadn't gotten really close to them. It, it, it was filled with mostly guys. Because in Brazil, it's a country of guys. The, the few ladies you see here are those that their husbands brought over. And they are just so few. And... They, are, they all stay in their house every minute of the day. They are in their houses. Nobody goes out. That is how Brazil is for women. It's a place that limits women a lot. It's more favorable to men than women. So I had nobody to communicate with. Whatever was wrong with me in my pregnancy, nobody knew. It was just me and my husband. Whatever I feel, I go to the clinic. There is what we call consulta in, in Brazil. It's been done every month. That's every 30 days you go for that consulta. It's for the fact that you're pregnant. And so I'm always, for the nine months, I go for this consulta and I take the medications and everything. And the hospital here is free. 
as long as it's a government hospital, it's free. you don't even have a reason to be going to a private hospital because obviously the government is a standard, so there is nothing you are going to a private hospital for. Unless you just want to go to a private hospital, you have the money you want to go and waste. To me, it's just more like you're wasting your money. So that was it. I just came, got my got my refugee papers, got settled in a church, did my wedding, and then found out that I was pregnant. And that was just it. Yeah, so I don't want to make my videos very long, five minutes, and I'm okay. So we just have to stay tuned. In our coming video, I'll be telling you how my pregnancy journey went and um, how I was able to navigate it alone and all stuff like that.